Hello and welcome, my name is Emily and today we're going to be playing a game called The Last Time. This is a uh, point and click uh, choose your own adventure kind of thing, which I don't do a lot on this channel so I thought I'd try it out because why not? Um, just a variety. Variety is the spice of life. So um, yeah, it's also, it's only a demo. So uh, they are trying to get kickstarted. Sure. Um, so if you like this game, then feel free to check out their kickstarter at the end. Four hours on patrol without a single cram. Don't you just love nights like this? Okay. Yes, I prefer action. I'm a man of action. Not really, I like to get my hands dirty. Otherwise, it feels like a wasted day. Well, that's what we get when our patch is a rural area. Not many opportunities to get your hands dirty out here. I smell a crime coming on. It can't be a completely wasted day, though. We got each other for company, right? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you and me. Come on, Jack, lighten up. Entertain me. I don't know why I did this. We're two dudes, so... <laughs> Tell a joke. I like how it's all in capitals. Tell a joke! <laughs> sing a song. I'ma sing a song because, you know, that's how I am. Just all about that singing. How about a song? Perfect. Okay, here goes. Are we gonna sing it together? I hope we are. Kung Fu Fighting or Waterloo? Clearly Kung Fu Fighting. Kung Fu Fighting. Eh. La 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 something something Heh heh La da da something something Heh heh <laughs> What's wrong man? You worried about copyright or something? That's actually good. <laughs> That's a good joke. I just forgot the lyrics. Shame you got a good singing voice. Thank you. Maybe you chose the wrong career. Stop it. God. So nice. Hey, you know what day it is today? Hump day? I don't know. <laughs> Tuesday? Your birthday, St. Patrick's Day? What day is it? Is it actually- it's legitimately Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Tuesday? Uh, it's Tuesday, right? No, I'm- I mean, yes it is, but that's not what I mean. It's been five years to the day since we joined the police. da na na, -na. You gotta have some sort of collage thing there. I don't know. Where you're all- it's like an 80s collage where you all jump at the end. <laughs> Can you believe we've known each other for five years? You've been my partner all this time. Just you and me, on the streets, just fighting the crime, seeing the sights of Manhattan. Sure, I don't know where we are. <laughs> uh, no. Of course I can't. I hate you. I know, it's hard to believe, right? The years have flown by. <laughs> this is so, like, romantic. Yeah, tell me about it. Do you remember how we met? This is so romantic! <laughs> Uh, it was in the canteen, it was in the staff gym, whoa, it was in the elevator. Staff gym means they're naked. They, they looked at each other's butts, it was love at first sight. What can I say? We saw it was in the staff gym. Of course I do, it was in the gym back at the station. <laughs> yeah, you came over and told me I was lifting all wrong, that I was gonna injure my back. It's kind of rude. <laughs> Safety first, I was being an idiot. Yeah, that was stupid of me, I'm sorry. My love. I should never have said that to you. I was probably just jealous of how much you could lift or something. <laughs> Seriously, I can't believe you just admitted that. <laughs> I love that about you, Jack. <laughs> You're always honest with me. <laughs> this is dispatch calling- oh, sorry. <clears throat> this is dispatch calling officer Glover and Price. Repeat, this is dispatch calling officers Glover and Price. I <laughs> just spit everywhere. That's a really spitty voice. Dispatch, this is Price. Uh, we got a report of a burglary in your area. <laughs> is the burglary still in pro progress? Uh, negative. The homeowner called said that their place had been broken into, but that it was empty by the time they got back and my phone just buzzed. You stop that phone. So we just needed to gather evidence. <coughs> Affirmative. I don't know what the uh, is supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be like, but I'm not doing. I should be doing. <laughs> I'm just stupid. What's the address? <coughs> thirteen. Oh, sorry. Thirteen Evergreen Place. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Dispatch. We're on our way. If anything, the, the most fun stuff about this game and any game that involves dialogue is I get to make stupid ass voices. Looks like you might be able to get your hands dirty after all. I'm ready. Darren, let me. Fill you up. <laughs> Darren? Yeah. What should we do? Nice house, never mind. Nice house. Nice house, huh? 
It's better than I could afford. I know that much. What if you What if you put your savings together and you bought a house together? That'd be pretty. That That'd be pretty romantic. That'd be romantic as fuck. Ding dong. Let me in. Please. Hello? Did the owners die? I think the owners are dead. Phone? What are you doing? It looks like they're not coming. Well, then, can I just stare at this door doorbell? Nice doorbell! That would seem better. <laughs> well, you don't have to be so rude, Darren. Number 13, we're at the right house. <gasps> 13! Oh my god, it's haunted! Maybe. I <laughs> screwed up my headphone. We sure are. Okay, door open. Guess we'll just walk right in then. Shall we go in? Let's do it! Do it! <laughs> I was actually gonna yell that, but then I realized my mother has piano students, and they would hear that. <laughs> let's let's do it. Yeah. Anyone home? No. It's the police! Police! It's the po oh no, my battery's dying. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, we're back. It's all good. We're, it's better. We're fine. Don't worry about it. It's the police! Where do you think the owner is? Uh, probably left the house. I don't think they're- well, they might be hiding. Hiding? Maybe they're hiding somewhere? They could be scared. Yeah, they might be red. What about the door? How do you think the burglar got in? Forced entry? Yes. Maybe they forced their way in? I don't know, man. I don't see any signs of forced entry. Shit! God damn it, Darren! Shut the fuck up! Hey, I'm gonna dust the door for fingerprints. You mind checking around the house for the owner? Y yeah, I mind. I want to stay here with you because I love you. I don't want, don't make me separate. <laughs> no problem. Thanks, buddy. So far, can I just chill? Sitting down won't help anyone. It'll help my back. I have a sore back. Tempting, but I better leave the TV off. Well, you are no fun at all. Is this what you do when you enter people's homes? You're just like, I, I'm not gonna touch anything because I'm boring. I think ja Darren, sorry, get Darren, not Jack. I would appreciate it if I left the light on. I sure would. Ho <laughs> ho No sexy time right now. Save it for later. An old man, the homeowner, with what looks like a couple of grandkids. Jesus! I've only got one kid and I can barely handle him. I can't imagine running around after grandkids when I'm old. Well, maybe you won't have grandchildren. You ever think of that, Darren? Maybe your son or daughter doesn't want grandchildren. Just doesn't want children. <laughs> one goat on the stand. Does the owner live alone? This is sad. It's just like some old guy living by himself and he got burglared. Burglarized. Burglared? Burglared is not a word. <laughs> I don't think burglarized is either. It won't open. I think it's locked. Well, then we'll just have to find the key. Probably, I guess. Knock, knock. Hello? Police? Police? Hello? Hello? It's kind of- what? You said something? I can't see a, a thing. I need some light. This is kind of suspicious, yo. <laughs> yo. Like I oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Holy fuck is right. Oh, t talk to the body, because the body's gonna say- Really? Hey, you alive? Just checking. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Funny. You know, you shouldn't do that because you're a police officer. No way I'm going to check for vital signs. Uh, no way, yeah, I know a corpse when I see one. Okay, well, you just asked him, so I don't think you really do. <laughs> Single shot to the head, there are worse ways to go. That's true. Blood spatter. Looks like the victim was shot from in front. Self-inflicted? No. Because if you're shooting from the front, it would go this way. Or if you went... That's hard. That's- no, you can't do that angle. If it's self-inflicted, this is like legitimate science right now. This is not an angle you can do, really, with a gun. It- especially not an old guy with, like, probably arthritis. So he would have to do from this angle, which means it would go that way. So there's nothing he could do that would make you go back. So it's definitely not self-inflicted. BAM! Look at me being professional and smart and shit. That doesn't happen often. <laughs> I'd better take this for forensic analysis. We'll send a coroner along for this guy. Okay. Well buddy. It's been good. Can I just turn this light switch off? I don't want to look at that anymore. Guess we better tell Darren that somebody died. Was Darren here? Darren was not here and that was not open. I swear that wardrobe wasn't open before. The burglar's still here! The burglar's clear. Yep. Told ya. 
all of you. Don't come any close. Oh, sorry. I don't know what to do for a voice, but it's gonna, oh, it's gonna be a really funny voice, okay. Don't come any closer! <laughs> sorry, I have too much fun. I'm sorry, Jack, I was trying to stop him from leaving. My beautiful love, don't kill him! Shut up, just shut up! None of this was supposed to happen! Then just calm down, drop the gun, step forward. Don't step forward, he will shoot you. Draw a gun is probably a good idea. Drop the gun. You tell me what to do? I'll kill this guy, I swear! Shoot! I'm sorry, that's the wrong one! <sighs> I'm gonna drop my gun. Don't even think about it. I asked you to drop the gun. I, I'll ask you again. Drop the gun. I warned you not to give me orders. If I'm going down, I'm taking you guys with me. That was the bad ending. Shit! <laughs> Actually, he probably would've killed him no matter what. I don't think there was a way to get him to not kill him. 40 years later, Mr. Glover? Is this Donald Glover? <laughs> it might be. Mr. Glover? Nope, it's a white guy. Ah, there we are, Mr. Glover. Here we are having a nice little... Were we having a nice little nap? Why did I read here we are having a nice little nap? Were we having a nice little nap? Are you 12? You look 12. Bad dreams. Not really, Josephine. I was having a bad dream. Oh dear, one of your nightmares again. You poor thing. I wish ever so much. Oh, ever so much. I wish ever so much that there was something I could do to help. <laughs> Is there anything I can get to make you more comfortable? A beer. <laughs> can I get a beer, lady? <laughs> Shut up, give me a beer. <laughs> Chocolate, a beer, a hug. A hug, sure. Would a hug be too much to ask for? Oh, this is Jack. Okay, so I couldn't save Darren, my beautiful lover. <laughs> and I'm having bad dreams 40 years later from PTSD. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Glover, but after what happened with Mr. Montgomery, all staff are strictly forbidden from hugging residents. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> don't want to hear that backstory. You know, you should really get out of your room much more often. Oh, much more? Okay, I'm adding words. It won't do you any good to stay cooped up in here all day long. I'd best check on the other residents now. You have a good day, Mr. Glover. Okay, 12-year-old girl, you enjoy yourself. Bye. <sighs> it's Darren! Pick up phone. Yo, what up? It's been years, Jack. <laughs> Hello. Hello, is this Jack Glover? Who are you? Who the hell are you? I'm an associate of your old partner. What? How do you know Darren? It's a little difficult to explain. It's better if we meet in person. Go on a date. There's a park around the corner from your old folks home. Meet me there in ten minutes. That's kind of rude, your old folks home. Like, at least call it, like, hospice or something. <laughs> Fine, can't you come here? Uh, can't you come here? Can't you just come meet me here? I would, but old folks homes- Stop calling it that! Kind of freak me out. I can't stand the smell! <laughs> oh, that's so rude. No offense. <laughs> She's none taken. <laughs> well, uh, can you get up and move, old man? Okay, well, it looks like I'm gonna be breaking out of here. Oh, I didn't realize you had high security at the old folks home. Alrighty then. Oh, is that the end? Yeah, coming soon on the last time. Oh, what? Party? I want to play with a party. Can we party? Oh, why did he get smacked in the face in a dungeon cell? I <laughs> like the little character. He's just like, yeah. <laughs> I want to party. Oh, that was the end of the demo, though. <laughs> that was really fun. I actually enjoyed it, especially because I got to do stupid voices. Um, yeah, this looks really cool. No wonder it was highly rated. So if you guys like this game, then uh, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to play for yourselves. It's also on Kickstarter, so I'll put the link for that if you guys want to check that out and maybe back them. Uh, that'd be cool. So if you guys want to see me play more games like this in the future, let me know. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> <clears throat> when Emily came into the same set to open doors, she said fuck it and went to the door on the right. You better stay out of her way, but I'm actually a 25-year-old woman voicing a tiny boy. I want to party. Let's party. Woo. Kind of doesn't help if there's no music.